Righto then. Well, today I've got something quite cool to talk about. Portal 2 has actually received a big update from Valve with Vulcan support. Now, Portal 2 at this point is actually quite an old game, so I'm surprised that Valve would go out of the way to support it. But I've got to say, it's really, really cool that they did. So, on this page, Gaming on Linux, which is a great news source if you like Linux gaming, they've written this article about what's new and all that sort of thing. And as you can see, there's a huge list of improvements and bug fixes that have been added to Portal 2. And I've got to say, Valve really do support their old games, and that's fantastic to see. Now, this Vulcan support, which Portal 2 now has, is actually based on DXVK, which is really, really cool. But don't get the wrong idea, this is still the Linux native, and it works, well, pretty well. Now, one thing that I should say is, is if you're expecting huge performance boosts or anything like that, you are probably going to be disappointed. Portal 2 is an old game at this point, and most modern hardware can run it at reasonably high settings, if not max it out. For instance, I have a gaming PC that easily maxes out Portal 2, so when I switched over to Vulkan, I didn't actually notice any difference. But with that said, if you do want to try this out, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. So first, you have to open Steam, as you would imagine, and you right click your portal 2 select properties and then go down to the launch options here and literally just type in dash Vulcan and that is all you need to do unfortunately there's no option in game to enable Vulcan just yet but maybe at some point there will be so then let's go ahead and click launch and see how well this works so we're running this maxed out as far as I can tell we're getting a full 60 FPS which I guess you would imagine that's going to be how it works so indeed here we are in game running with Vulcan now you can't tell that it's running with Vulcan but what I can say is it's running absolutely fine as you can see everything is working as you would expect it to now as I say this is the Linux native version running but apparently some people have had quite good luck with running this in DXVK as well but to be honest like I said this is an old game so there aren't going to be any huge performance boosts or anything but it is good to see that now Portal 2 has been ported over to a new graphics API now, for Portal 2, as I said, this isn't terribly exciting, but for games like Counter-Strike and Team Fortress 2 and that sort of thing, well, maybe there are going to be more promising results, because those games, although they're not new games, they certainly have had updates more than Portal 2 has, so maybe there'll be some cool results there. Additionally, maybe if you have a lower-end PC that happens to support Vulkan, you'll probably get better performance from this as well. But all around, I do just think this is a sign that Valve really do care about their old games and really do still support them. Now, why they've gone and done this? Well, no one seems to know. It could maybe be because of macOS dropping support for OpenGL. It could maybe be because of Google Stadia. Nobody knows. It's pretty unlikely that this is just for the benefit of Linux users or just for the benefit of people who want to use Vulkan. But for now, it's a pretty cool thing. And if you want to go ahead and replay Portal 2 through Vulkan, you now now can do that. So with that said, that's it for today's quick video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.